Hi everyone, in this video we have to determine whether this integral is improper or proper, and then determine if it converges or diverges. So first notice that because it has an infinite limit of integration, it's going to be an improper integral. So whenever you have uh, an infinite limit of integration, it's improper. Also, if you have what's called an infinite discontinuity, it's also said to be improper. In this case, we have the exponential function, which is continuous everywhere. So the only reason it's improper in this case is because of the infinity. The next thing to do is work it out and see if it converges or diverges. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start by rewriting our integral. So negative infinity to zero, and then e to the nine x dx. And so whenever you have an infinity, what you do is you basically replace the infinity with a variable. I like to use the letter b, and then we take the limit as b approaches what we replaced. So we simply approach replace negative infinity, so we approach negative infinity. And we're going to zero, and we have e to the 9x dx. So this is equal to, so now we can integrate. So when you integrate e to the 9x, you just divide by 9. Um, it's just a simple u substitution. So we'll write it again, limit b to negative infinity. This will be e to the 9x divided by 9. And we're going from b to 0. Um, if that is not clear, just remember you can always work it out if you really choose to. I think it's better to go to the side and do it. You would let u be equal to 9 times x, in which case du is equal to 9 dx. And then you would say, hey, wait a minute, there's not a 9 here in the integral. So we have to get rid of this 9. So we would get 1 ninth du equals dx. Then you'd make your u sub, I'm going to speed up a little bit here, you'd get 1 ninth e to the u du, which is 1 ninth e to the 9x, you know, plus a constant. So basically, whenever you have a number times x and an e, you simply divide by that number. So in a problem like this, it's not expected uh, that you show this type of work. Okay, so this is equal to the limit as b approaches negative infinity. And first we plug in the zero, so we get e to the zero over nine minus, and then you plug in the b, so we get e to the nine b over nine, just like that. Let's keep going. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches negative infinity. e to the zero is one, so we get one ninth minus and then we have this piece here, we have the 1 ninth e to the 9b. And this is equal to, so here's where it gets uh, a little bit interesting. Um, so the 1 ninth is 1 ninth. So to think about what happens to this piece here. So b is approaching negative infinity. And so we have to ask what happens to e to the 9b? Well, basically it's going to approach zero. There's two ways to think about it. Method one, you think about b being negative. So it's really like one over e, and then you have something here. And so then this is getting big on the bottom, so this approach is zero. Method two is to think about the graph of e to the 9b. It looks something like this. And so in this case, as your b approaches negative infinity, your y value gets really close to zero as well. So in any case, this is zero. So this is one ninth minus zero, so it's equal to one ninth. I personally think about it uh, just algebraically. You know, b is approaching negative infinity, so it's, I, I hate to write it, but it's almost like you're getting e to the negative infinity. You're not supposed to do this. It's, it's bad. It's really one over e to the infinity, which is zero. This is really sloppy. This is not good mathematics, but that's the idea. Uh, b is approaching negative infinity, so this is approaching one over e to the infinity, which is approaching zero. I hope this video, oh, and it converges, right? That was the answer. So it converges because we get a number. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.